Hello everyone, this is Pam and welcome back to the channel. Today I shopped at two Goodwill stores and found a few things to keep and a few things to sell in my booth. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see how I have styled these items to resell and to use as home decor. So let's go. There were so many mugs today, at both Goodwills actually, and I saw this one obviously because of the yellow color. This one stuck out to me, and when I looked at it, it was so cute with this Boston Terrier. You know I love dogs. He has the Statue of Liberty in his mouth, and the mug was in pretty good shape, but I left it behind for someone that may have a Boston Terrier. I came across this beautiful, tall apothecary jar. It did not have any chips or cracks, which I could not believe. And it was $3.99. So I continued to look around the store to see if there was another apothecary jar with a similar style. And I did. I found this similar jar in great condition. And it was priced $2.99. Do you think I picked these out to purchase? As I was checking out this sign, I noticed the big blue bin roll right up beside me. Yes, this is a bin full of new merchandise that they just rolled out. And of course, at that point, I could not concentrate <laughs> on what I was looking at. And as you know, many Goodwills do not want you digging into the bin. They would prefer you to wait until the merchandise is on the shelf before looking at it. So I respected their wishes and I would shop and come back and look in the bin. And I noticed this piece right here, this wooden cheese and crackers tray. And so I asked if I could get it out. He handed it to me and of course I looked it over. I noticed it was a really nice piece it wasn't vintage obviously from the UPC sign and it was also $3.99 not a bad price
The first thing that I purchased that I would like to share with you are these two apothecary jars. The tall jar was $3.99 and the small jar was $2.99. Here you see I have styled them with artificial lemon that I've had in my craft room and you can style them with just about anything. I'm going to place these in my booth and ask about $25. I found this sweet little purple pitcher and it is so cute and dainty. There's no markings on the bottom and I am going to place this in my booth. It was 99 cents so I'm going to ask about five to six dollars. I was so excited to find this next piece. This is a crystal ring holder. Uh, it can be used to hold your rings, any earrings, or even if you have little trinkets lying around. I saw this glass and knew I had to get it for my husband. He loves Marvel, the Marvel movies. He loves creating Marvel dioramas and he is a collector. So I picked this up for him to add to his Marvel collection and memorabilia. Do you remember the little brown copper colored pot? This is it. I purchased the pot and placed it here in my kitchen. I added an Ikea plant. I placed the little pot on this black candlestick and I just think it adds a little height, just a little more interest, and I absolutely love it. This is the cutest little church. It is made of glass, and it's for a tea light. Look how beautiful when it is dark, and you have the tea light. Oh, I cannot wait to use this at Christmas time. Finally, this is something that was in the blue bin that wheeled up. This is a teacher's gold mine. Each item was $2.99, and if you purchase these out of the magazines, they are much more expensive. So this is wonderful for me to find at such a great price to keep in my classroom for those math lessons for my students. That is all I purchased on this trip. Thanks for joining me everyone. If you would please like this video and if you are interested in this type of content, make sure you subscribe. And until next time everyone, bye bye.